Hey guys, and welcome back to another video on the Road Builder YouTube channel. Uh, yes, we're back on my game, okay? I'm trying to just, I just want to keep hammering out this series, and I really want to get this game out someday. There's already a few people, uh, very publicly copying my whole idea here, so I'm trying to be a little quicker, uh, and, and yeah, it's, it's a win-lose world out here, okay? But I'm trying. So today, I do want to finish the lava zone. I'm working on so many things at once, just jumping back and forth. Like, I have a whole nother series idea that I want to start, but I'm not sure exactly how I want to attack that one yet. Um, it'll be basically remaking the favorite game that I've made previously. So a game called Slingshot Simulator is, like, literally probably my favorite game I've ever made or ever even worked on. And uh, I'm going to be remaking that very, very soon, and I want to do it for a series. So let me know by dropping a like on the video and dropping a comment if that's something you guys would be into. But so far, here's what I got for the Lava Zone. And uh, I do want to let you guys know all of these little spinners um, are kind of placeholders, okay? At the beginning when I started this obby, I was like, bet, um, I'll make some, and I could just use them throughout the whole thing, you know, and just change the color. But I think I want more themed. So, for example, like a pirate one, I want to think of how to make a spinner that's pirate themed, you know? And really up the uh, overall aesthetic of the entire obby. And mainly, I've been focusing on just satisfying features like sound effects and like just real nice, like, I don't know, the spins, like just real smooth spins, not choppy, like everything guys i'll go ahead and show you what i got so far for this lava zone you jump up these are spring pads so when you jump on one check this out boom there's a spring under it okay so i'll just go ahead and uh, i'll just go to it really i think there's one in the spawn so we shouldn't be uh too too bad i don't know if this is coming before or after the coin episode uh like i'm working on the coins but I'm not, like, not really doing that great <laughs> at the moment. But, uh, yeah, we're working on coins, too. Here's the jump pad. Boom. Boom. Pretty satisfying. The springs up and everything. I really like that. And, of course, I did change to R6 uh, because a lot of people were asking for it. And now, all of the spinners are just so nice. Um, you can change the speed and the direction they're spinning with just a value inside the part instead of having to make a whole new script with a whole new tag. Previously, I had it like, for example, um, I would call this killer spin and tag it, okay? And then I made another one that's called killer spin reverse and it's a whole different script that makes it do something else. Now it's all one script and I can go ahead and just change values. I'm gonna go over to the lava zone real quick by walking over there and I'll show you guys what's up. Alright guys, while we're going to be passing through the pirate zone, I do want to mention one thing. I want to make these have a sound effect. So, I don't think it'll be too hard. Basically, like, you know, if part touch, blah, 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 play the sound. Uh, very simplistic way of saying it. But, um, yeah, I want to make it so it goes like, maybe like the whoosh sound effect. So, I would just be like, uh, you know, you hop on, it's like, whoosh. Yeah, see, that would, it would work, okay? Just doing it by myself, like, that would work. I'm down. Definitely going to add that. Uh, probably not in this video, but, you know, in, in a certain time, we will. Uh, we did fix the X's. Uh, now they're moving in the right direction. They were, they used to just spin, which was, or like, rotate. I don't even know. I think it'd be rotate, but it means the same thing. But they were going in the other axis. Anyways, here we go. So, idea with lava. Any orange lava is not deadly. Red lava is. And I'm trying to build this in a way players will understand that without needing to, like, read a sign or something. So, I think making them jump onto this, cool, and, uh, you know, you just, you just avoid these guys. Just bop, easy peasy. Oh, nice. That would have been so bad if I hit that. I would have had to walk all the way back from the spawn. Uh, anyways, then you go over to here, grab your checkpoint, hop onto here. Now, red lava kills you. So, you're going to want to jump to this bounce pad, okay? And then jump onto this black platform. Boom jump onto this bounce pad they, they do bug out a little bit sometimes as you can see but um for the most part they work really really well and then hop on the last one and hop on out of here boom and then this will be another obstacle you have to kind of just walk through jump over i'm not exactly sure yet i might add something right here i don't know what exactly to do but uh it's just a gap so i could add an obstacle and then i need to add another bouncer pad over here to jump up there and that will be the end of the zone. And then, of course, decorating 
once we have everything worked out. So I'm gonna make a little plan in my head and I'll be right back. Also, before I before I go, I wanna ask uh, for zone ideas. The most liked comment down below will be the theme of the next zone. Keep it appropriate, of course, guys. But uh, the next zone theme will be the most liked comment in the comment section. So good luck to everybody. I'll be right back when I have an idea to finish up this zone. All right, guys, I've got a little bit of an idea. So I'm thinking I can 3D model a fire extinguisher and they would be pretty huge. And what comes out of them, like the uh, the white like powder or whatever it would be, would be the places that you can jump on. Like I'll turn this into a neon red part so people know it kills you. Add the kill part tag just to make sure it does kill you. And then turn can collide off to make sure that you cannot keep jumping on the part to avoid dying. Now, we just got a 3D model, a fire extinguisher. I don't know if I want to have two reds in a row, but I mean, we might as well, I guess. Alright guys, so the obstacle idea that came to mind was make big fire extinguishers and you would jump onto these pads to avoid this death barrier. Now of course, uh, just jumping pad to pad would be quite easy. So we are going to add some spinners. We've been kind of overusing the quad spinner, so I think I'm going to go all the way back to the spawn and get one of the solo spinners and uh just bring them back for a quick little second all right bring them back now i also do need to change the color um of the bottom like for each zone i don't think i've been doing that but i think it would be quite cool so let's make sure we put this nice and centered to the best of our abilities and we're gonna put one right here as well and i think we're gonna change the bottom of these to black just to be like really like you know zone fitting and uh, I think that is about it for that obstacle. We're not going to put any obstacles here, even though it's a big space. We're just going to let them walk for a second. Like, hey, take a break, man. You did good. You did good. All right. You deserve this. Uh, I am going to take this and move it over here, I think. Uh, sort of a little gap because it was just like a lot in one spot, I feel like. So grab this guy. Can move it over this way some. Nice. I will have to place a lot more trees after I get all the obstacles done and everything like that. But now it is time to test this thing. And these guys right here, these little, um, well, they're clouds. I just free modeled this thing right here. And um, I changed it to smooth plastic and made it fit my fancy. They are just placeholders until I go ahead and make a whole mesh and everything like that. But uh, I just I just wanted to point that out because I know someone in the comments is going to be like, bro, nice free model, bro. Like, you know, just something like obviously I can make a cloud. All right. <laughs> it's OK. They're just placeholders to speed up the video because I'm running out of time today. But guys, I'm going to test this out and see if it works. All right, guys, we are back in the game. I did add this uh, HD admin because. Hey, pretty simple. Maybe someday I'll try and make custom admin for the game. But for now, like I said, a lot of placeholder stuff as proof of concept. Ooh, these might be a little too... Ugh. Oh, crap. All right, but it's all good. I can fly just like that, guys. We're going to try one more time. Uh, I do suck at obbies. I'll have, like, an actual obby player, which uh, one of my moderators in the Discord is geeked to try out this game. But, uh, you know, hey, I'm going to try this one more time. I just need to know if it's possible to jump from one to another and I also need to anchor these fire extinguishers because apparently I forgot to do that as well all right huh it is possible it is possible okay it's definitely possible it's a little sketchy but it is possible guys let's go and uh, I'm at negative four coins now that's kind of tough but it's all good uh anchor let's name these I'm just calling fire because I have no idea how to spell extinguisher and uh, that is calling it for that obstacle. We're going to have something really, really small right here. Not sure what it's going to be. And then we'll have one more thing over here. Then it'll be decoration time. You know, guys, I have something that's an awesome and horrible idea at the exact same time. So this space right here, there's not really enough space. <laughs> if, if, to, if I can be honest, there's not really enough space to add a crazy obstacle or anything like that. So I'm going to move this guy over and out a little bit remove these two little stones because that's where our spawn pad's gonna need to be let's 
or not our spawn pad, our checkpoint. I think y'all knew what I meant though. I'm gonna put this guy right over here. Perfect. Rename it to 22 so it will work. Nice. And then we're gonna need one right past it even. A very, very, very short obstacle, guys. And uh, I think I'm just gonna remove all of the big stones from this. Something like this. And uh, we'll grab all of these guys, get those out of here. And we're gonna have it like this, all right? I don't want to lose my train of thought. I'm trying my hardest right now, guys. So, basically, we'll have our spawn pad, uh, or our checkpoint pad, my bad, right here as the world's shortest obstacle, okay? We're going to move this guy, um, like, up here a little bit, all right? And then we're going to get our bounce pad that we have over here. Control Z, bring that over here. Uh, nice. It can sit in just like this. We may add a few more rocks around, but for now, this gets the idea across. And, uh, here's the idea, all right? I'm gonna, uh, these need to be black, first of all. I'm gonna grab these, okay? And, uh, well, just one of them. Control-Z, bring it over, all right? Now, this, I gotta make sure it's not hitting either checkpoint. So, it kind of is at this point in time. We can move this guy back a little bit. And over this way, uh, you know what? No, we're not. It, th this is gonna be good enough. It just, you'll spawn in the middle. Um, oh, I don't want to be like that guy. I don't want to be that guy. Uh, we're gonna bring it this way. I don't want, I don't want people to just be disliking the game because of a trolley mechanic, all right? So, we'll put this, like, we'll put it right here. Like, literally right up next to this so people have no worries about dying when they're spawning in after they passed that because I don't want it to be like a trolley game, you know? We can put this small guy like right here and we can add one more of these uh, right here and one right here. Perfect. Now guys, you might be like, hey dude, that doesn't look hard at all. Why would anyone be thinking that's a hard obstacle? Yeah, I wanna add more, <laughs> more of these. So control D and uh, I'm gonna go 45 degrees and I'm gonna do it again even with uh like this and I don't know if it's possible or not but we're about to figure out <laughs> all right up here we gotta go ahead and fly me there we go and we're gonna head on over to the new obstacle to see if it is indeed possible I hope it is I hope it is and I also I might keep this admin in the game I don't know it's kind of cool uh oh yikes Dude, okay. <laughs> Alright, so you hit the you hit the checkpoint and you're good. Alright, nothing can hit you when you spawn in here. Uh, now this guy... Um, I don't even know how to go about it. Honestly. Uh, oh, wait, no. Oh, crap. Okay, I think I, think I got it. Alright, back at the obstacle. Perfect. Checking our checkpoint. Nice. And uh, maybe we go this way. Alright, so like... Oh, gosh. I'm just so bad. Alright. Oh my, it's spinning too fast, I think. Let me slow it down just a bit, because that, that is uh, a bit nuts. So all of these kill parts right here, well, really all of this stuff, as you can see, there's values. We're going to go to rotation speed, not vector, rotation speed, there we go. And uh, we're going to turn this down to like, uh, two? There's just a lot happening, and then we're going to try it again. Alright, the OG command, fly me, I feel like extra dope hacker... <laughs> I put flay me. Yikes. <laughs> fly me. There we go. All right. Let's head on over. Guys, it's getting very, uh, very time consuming doing this level. Okay. I don't know why. Okay. Uh, I may have forgot that it's the higher the number is, the slower it goes. So, uh, all right. We're going to work together and act like nothing happened. As you can see, it is indeed slower than the rest. So, we're gonna check this guy out. I don't know if it would be better to go against or with. I'm gonna say with. So, uh, here we go. We're just gonna go. Um, oh. It might need to be a little faster, so you actually have to jump. And then you hop onto this, get up here. Nice. I am gonna make it one, one little bit faster, so I'm gonna turn this down to seven. Try this one more time. I just really wanna make sure it's a quality game for you guys when it does come out. And I I'm trying hard. I need y'all to know this. All right, looks to be a little bit faster than it was. Let's check it out. Um, I just want it to be slightly faster than the player, so you have to jump over one of these. So as you can see, jump, 
Boom, and you can make it. There we go. Yeah, that's not too bad. I think that's a good obstacle for the space. Oh, I thought I broke my little bounce pad. I would have been so sad. There we go. One more obstacle, then decoration, then we can call it a day. All right, guys, so we finished this obstacle and already tested it, so I'm going to go ahead and go around. I did put a huge fire extinguisher right here. I love the look of very oversized assets. Like, that's just... Oh, I love it. I love it. I just love it. We're gonna hop up here. Boom. Now, this is a kill part, so you need to make sure you get all the way over, okay? And I'm not quite... I might have to jump and then jump again. There we go. Oh, no. What happened? I did not touch the kill part, bro. Okay, listen. Listen, listen, listen. We're gonna move these guys, and we're gonna put them, like, right with it. In fact, we're gonna have to make them smaller, probably, because they stick out the bottom a little bit. So let me just uh, do like this, and then I'm going to have to make a lot of them, I guess. At least until I, like, you know, make the ones where they're not free models. That'd be cool. We could put this guy like this. Nice. Grab this. Bring it over. Cool. And then we will grab all of these. All right. So I got something like this for now, guys. Uh, I know it's not the most appealing, but it's the idea, and that's what I'm trying to get staked out today. Uh, we gotta fly back over there. This is such a long video. I've been recording for an hour, guys. It's gonna take a very long time to <laughs> edit. Alright, so here we are. First things first, I'm gonna see if I can land on here and not die. Okay, so I do die. That's what I need to figure out. Alright, guys, so I deleted all of those, um, quote-unquote clouds, and, uh, I put a part down, and now we're not running into that issue, so I think it'll be a-okay once I get my actual, uh, actual mesh done for what i'm trying to do uh let's check it out though i gotta see if that next part's possible so jump on boom made it up perfect and then we just gotta jump through here all right jump uh i think these are too far apart because i'm not i mean maybe uh, okay yeah you could jump onto that one i think they're a bit too far apart though all right we're up here once again and i've added more these will most likely be blocked off or maybe brought out more um i'm not sure how i'm gonna work the barrier yet but you may be able to jump onto this one right here but we're gonna skip it for now just in case i decide to block those off we're gonna hop on boom and uh the challenging part of this is that i think or we might be able to jump to this one huh we can okay Okay, it is possible. Uh, it's possible, okay? We made the jump. We're cooling. Let me show you guys the zone. All the obstacles are done. Now I'm going to decorate, and I'll be right back. I got to pause OBS. This is already going to take a really long time to edit, but I got you guys. I'm trying to make the best game possible for you guys to enjoy. All right, guys. Your boy's back. I added more terrain pieces. I added a bunch more trees, and I boxed these things in, which I may or may not add a texture to later on. But here's the lava zone that is going to wrap up this video, guys. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.